Only Memory Volume 4 Review Back in October, Volume 3 Only Memory brought the first half of the series to a training conclusion. They went back to Volume 4 to see what the second half has in store for our cast, and discover if it continues to be an engrossing read. At the end of Volume 3, Oscar is thrown back in time and meets a young Tinesha who has yet to become a witch. One thing leads to another and Oscar realizes the reason has been set there is to save Tinesha from the horrible incident that led to her becoming a witch. In the end, he accomplishes this, but at the cost of overriding the future he came from the witch, he saw the two of them get married. So now we find ourselves remaining in his timeline, and things have changed quite a bit. One big difference is that the magic empire of Toldar still exists, and is here that we reunite with Prince Oscar, who is visiting in the hopes of finding someone who can break the curse placed upon him, a curse that will kill anyone who carries his child. Toldar's current king takes Oscar under the castle where he hopes the prince will be able to find the solution to his problem. Sleeping under the castle is Tinasha, who put herself into a magic sleep for hundreds of years in the hopes of meeting his world's Oscar in the future, as her original cell did in the first timeline. Oscar's appearance awakens her from her slumber and she asks the prince to marry her, but naturally, Oscar has no idea who she is and refuses her advances. To make matters worse, the king of Toldar wishes for Tinasha to return to her rightful place on the throne, so even if Tinasha wants to marry Oscar, Three all kinds of political problems, giving his next in line to become king of nearby Farsas. For now, Tinashe is not allowed to stay in Farsas for six months, but she works for breaking the curse Oscar is under. Since she can teleport back and forth from there to Toldar, it means she can prepare for her coronation at the same time, even if she does want to throw it all away to remain in Farsas. Much like the very first volume, Only Memory, for here the book adopts an episodic approach with our two main characters working together to solve problems in the kingdom while Tinasha is working on the curse in the background. Of course, there's plenty of flirting and bickering between the two as Tinasha wishes to get closer to Oscar and Oscar finds himself attracted to her, despite the problems that he lie ahead were he to pursue her. These differences are what prevents the will, will they one day of the romance with growing still, so I'm very satisfied with the direction which author Kuji Foromiya has taken them. When up having changed this timeline compared to the first, it's fair to say that this Tinasha and Oscar are very different than those we knew before. They still had the core components of their personalities, so they're not strangers to us by any means, but it is interesting to see how they change. Tinasha, for example, is much more childlike and carefree than her original counterpart, which makes sense, given she hasn't been drawing the same horrific experiences. Oscar, meanwhile, is more abrasive and it's easy to understand why when he suddenly tries in the position of having such a mysterious woman, know everything about him, and wish to become his bride, but he's only he's only just met her. He also gains some new side characters for the different timelines, who quickly become irreplaceable members of the cast as it supports Tinasha and Oscar. The storyline proves an incredibly emotionally read. Just as Oscar and Tinasha finally found happiness in the original timeline, they were rip apart only for fate to bring them back together in this do-over, but there was such so much in their way. At least Tinasha herself, who was found memories of the original Oscar, who was safer, and is chasing that image, image of him, despite the current Oscar being right in front of her. The politics of the two kingdoms keeping them apart as yet another pain in readers, heart, as the book goes on and the two wrestle with their feelings, knowing the show pursued them further. I hope that the series continues, that these two will be able to find happiness too, but only time will tell. Only Memory Volume 4 comes to the West thanks to Yen Press and continues to be translated by Sarah Tangney. The translation reads well with no issues to note, Volume 4 of the series is due for release in June. Overall, Only Memory Volume 4 may have contributed as a set for the main couple but it still proves an emotional and engrossing read. If you enjoyed the series up until this point, you certainly want to know what the future has in store for Tinasha Oscar, including whether they finally be granted their happy ending. 9 over 10.